Hey, beautiful people. It is your girl T and I'm back because I received this beautiful book in the mail and I wanted to share it with you all. I'm not sure if anyone has seen this yet. Hidden Paradise um, Adult Coloring Book by Chris Lopez. Um, what I like to do, and I don't know if you've noticed any book that I kind of focus on in my video, I like to give a little background about the illustrator or the artist. I think it's very important to give them credit and to acknowledge them for creating these lovely books because without them, some of us wouldn't have, um, you know, beautiful pictures. So I always like to give a little information about the artist. Um, and in this case, Chris Lopez is an, actually a female a woman. And um, I'm going to go ahead and read to you verbatim what the back of the book says. So, um, so a little bit about Chris. Um, she was born on May 26, 1975, and she is a Brazilian illustrator of the surreal and magic, all inspired from dreams and fantasies. She stepped into the world of coloring and remained faithful to her habit for three years, for this latter has yielded a very pleasant feeling after finishing, she always felt so much refreshed, which gave her a push to make her first coloring book for adults. When she draws, she feels like she is putting her soul on paper. One of her famous quotes says, painting is a poetry without words, and the poet has eyes that reflect all the colors of the world. Now, there are some grammatical errors in that, but, you know, that's okay. Um, it's still beautiful um, what, you know, what her... Basically, what this book is about is about her dreams and her fantasies. So um, let's go ahead and take a look. Um, this is a book published by Phoenix Amulet Pub Publishing. So the paper quality in this book is going to be really good. Um, let me just... Here. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started. It has really thick paper. So she's got a little bit of a story here. Um, once upon a time, there was a hidden paradise, a world where fairies, elves, goblins, butterflies, and hummingbirds live happily under mushrooms. So this is kind of a magical journey. So this is the beginning. Um, I think this is so whimsical and cute. Um, and it says, this world belongs to, and then you put your name here. Okay. This is from the front of the book. Uh, what I liked about this book, just by looking at some of the pages, is that some of them have like some, a little grayscale in there. For those of you who like grayscale, um, you know, this is really nice, um, a really nice book. Even if you don't, you're still going to love this book, I believe. That is gorgeous. Then she's got some funny looking uh, elves or trolls and again living under the mushrooms as you can see some of them have a little grayscale he has a little grayscale these back here just have regular line art and then we have a unicorn he's a funny looking troll <laughs> I like his big nose that's gorgeous. Look at that. Now this book um, can be found on Amazon. And I will give a link to this book in the comments below. Here's another Medusa. Um, a lot of the books now have Medusa. I think everyone wants to kind of do their own version of what they think Medusa looks like. Now we have some uh, coloring of a man. You don't really get a lot of this. Well, at least the coloring books I have don't have a lot of, you know, shirtless men. So this is going to be pretty interesting to color. <laughs> I don't know if anybody uh, watches Game of Thrones, but... I forget Khaleesi's, um, oh my gosh, why am I forgetting it? Khaleesi's husband. I kind of want to, uh, 
you know, color, color him like that. We'll see. We'll see how that turns out. I have to find a picture. <laughs> um, so here we go. We have some fairies. So as you can see, uh, some of this has a little bit of um, shading for you. Not very much. Just, you know, touches here and there. We have a dragon. I love these pictures. That's nice. Some really intricate line line uh, line art here. I'm not too fond of witches, so I won't be coloring that. Okay. Oh wow, look at that. It's beautiful. I love how she's done some of the shading for you in the dress. Can imagine how that would look, um, especially using color pencils. But I in this book you could use any medium because it's all one sided. And they're perforated if you want to take those out and frame them for someone. Can you imagine walking around with a large hoop in your nose? I'd be so afraid somebody was going to grab it like my four-year-old. Half my nose would be on the floor. <laughs> little kids like to play with little, you know, things like that that are dangling off of your face, your ears, whatever. Um, yeah, he's kind of creepy looking, but interesting. This one um, doesn't have as much detail as some of the other pictures, so I'm wondering if she just gave this picture for you know people who don't really want a lot of um, you know line art in there, just very basic and. Um, large spaces to practice shading in here, but even still, it's still a nice picture. The same with this one. The outside has the intricate line art, but here's is very simple for shading. I like that unicorn. He's kind of scary looking too. Here again, we have more open space so you can practice shading faces. I'm not really good at faces. I'm still practicing. Um, I'm learning and uh, watching a lot of videos, um, looking at a lot of pictures as reference. That's where I find I'm getting the most help is actually looking at pictures. Um, so if I'm coloring a side profile, I may find a picture online of a side profile to see how the shading is, what the colors, tones of skin are. So that's really helpful too. Here again, we have another similar type of picture. Then we have a hummingbird with a key. I don't know if that's a lost key or did we took a key and that is the last picture and here's the back of the book so you have a picture of Chris I'll zoom in so you can see that that is Chris Toro and again she's a Brazilian il illustrator um, and decided to make this wonderful book for us to color so I hope that you all have enjoyed this uh, flip through as much as I have showing it to you. I think this is like the fourth time I've looked at this book. I really, really uh, think that's going to be some really nice pictures done in this book. And I can't wait to see what other people do as well. So until next time, take care.